Hello and welcome to day one of the Feel Strong Fall October Challenge. In today's class, we are going to be moving through our classic style of Matt Pilates class. We are going to be using light weights. So if you have weights, wonderful. If you don't, don't even worry about it. They really aren't a requirement. You can move through all of the classes for the challenge without weights. So don't worry about it. When you're ready, you can find your way down to your mat. We'll start in a seated position. I'm gonna go cross-legged, but you can sit with your legs out in front of you, sit in a long butterfly, however you feel comfortable. That's where you get to take it. Hands come to the tops of the legs. Give me a big roll of the shoulders to open up through your chest, relaxing the shoulders down and back, reaching the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. We'll inhale through our nose, filling the body up with air expanding through the rib cage from side to side and front to back and then exhale out let all of that air go for three inhale and exhale let it go for two inhale and exhale let it go one more inhale and exhale, let it go. Good. With that last one, let's reach the arms so they go out to T. We'll inhale, shift over towards the right, right side down, left arm reaches up, opening up into that left side, pressing down into your left hip. Exhale, we'll come all the way up through center and then inhale, you can take it over towards your left, left side down, right arm reaches up. Good, for three more on each side. Okay, now every week of the challenge is going to follow the same kind of format. We've got a classic 50 minute class with light weights. Um, for the first day of the week, we move into a Pilates strength upper body class, then a Pilates strength lower body class, and then our regular Pilates strength class for the fourth class of every week. Okay, so that's how things are gonna be going. Our classic classes are gonna be moving at like our typical Matt Pilates pace. If you don't have weights, it's not a big deal. This time when you come up through center, let's pause right there, reaching the arms so they come out in front of you, fingertips towards me. You'll inhale, open up towards that right side, reaching right fingertips back, and then exhale, take it back through center. Inhale as you open up through the left side, reaching left fingertips back, and then exhale all the way back through center for three more, opening up, Bringing it back. Good, open up. And then bring it back. Good, for two, open. And then back. Good. And then last one, opening to the right. And then open to the left. Everything comes through center. Bring your hands behind you. Take your feet so they come in front of you. Feet are out kind of wide. We're going to inhale as we bring that left knee in towards center, internally rotating the hip. Exhale as you open the knee back up and then inhale, let's drop the right knee in towards whew, the center of the mat, internally rotating that hip for three more each side. We rotate in and then open and then rotate in for two. <sighs> one more. And then one more. Good, opening up through that right side. Let's slide the legs so they go out in front of us, opening your feet up so that they're about mat's distance apart. Flexing your feet, pulling toes to nose, pushing the heels forward. If you'd like to grab onto your weights, grab onto your weights here. Arms reach out in front of you, relax the shoulders down away from your ears, draw in from your belly button, curving your spine. You'll roll yourself all the way down. Good, shoulders and head go down. Arms reach back overhead, big inhale. And then exhale, lift your arms. Let the weights pull themselves down. To, I cannot talk, pull themselves down towards the tops of your legs. Letting gravity help a little bit, tucking chin to chest. We roll all the way up, nice and slow. 
Good, and then round forward through the upper back, gliding the arms forward for three. We inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, tuck and roll. I need my lighter weights. Maybe I'll just put my weights off to the side. Shoulders and head come down. Arms reach back, inhale. Exhale, lift the arms, press the hands down, tuck the chin to the chest. And you're going to see me throughout this whole challenge using weights and not using weights, putting weights off to the side. I do that because I don't want to push myself like past my limit, but also I want to lead by example, right? It's important for me to tell you that you can take breaks and for me to also follow that rule, right? Inhale, exhale, press down, tuck chin to chest, roll it all the way up. Good. So while I'm telling you to listen to your body and do what works best for you, I try to also do that same thing. Inhale, exhale, tuck and roll. Good, exhale, lift, pressing the hands down, tucking the chin to the chest, rolling all the way up. Good, and then diving forward, rounding through the upper back, gliding the arms forward past the toes. Good, inhale, let's sit up tall. Take your hands so they come by your hips, bend your knees, scoot your hips forward, and then roll yourself all the way down onto your mat. Once you get right there, we're going weights into the hands. Legs are lifting to tabletop, so you can slightly tuck the hips towards you. Maybe pull the knees in just above the hips or a little bit closer. Separate your feet just a little bit so we can uh, create some more space in our hips. Arms reach up above your shoulders, and <clears throat> we're going to inhale, bend into the elbows, and then exhale, press the arms right back to straight. You'll inhale, bend the elbows, and then exhale, press back up to straight. Good, we bend, and press, bend, and press. Good, just for three, whoo, I laid down and my body was like, is it nap time? For two, bend. Good, and press, and you're gonna see this movement again this week. One more, bend, and press. Good, hold it right there, flip your palms down towards the legs, keeping your head down, keeping the legs in tabletop. You'll exhale, press the hands down so they go outside of the hips. And then inhale, lift the arms right back up, pointing the knuckles towards the ceiling. You inhale, lower. No, I said exhale, lower, sorry. Inhale, lift. <laughs> exhale as everything is coming closer towards the center of your body. And then inhale, lift as you're finding length through the arms. That's always a good rule of thumb. Exhale as things pull back towards the center of you. Inhale as things reach away or inhale as you're finding length, extending the arm, extending the leg. Exhale, press down. Inhale, lift up for two more. Press down. And then lift up. Good, one more, press down and then lift up. Good, from here, flip the knuckles towards each other, open the elbows out towards your sides, inhale, you're releasing someone from your hug, exhale, you're pulling the arms back into touch. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Now you may be able to go further than me, I'm limited in my range of motion because I hit my reformer, but <laughs> if you don't have that same issue, you can probably open out a little bit wider. Just be mindful that you're not opening out so wide that you're arching your back off of the mat or that you feel your hips starting to move. If it's a little bit too much to have the legs in tabletop, feet can come down to your mat. Good, just for three, we'll open. And close for two. One more. Good, with that last one, pull the knees in a little bit closer, keep the weights in the hands, taking your hands towards the shins. You're going to exhale as you curl up through head, neck and shoulders, pulling knees to nose, forehead to, forehead to knees as well. We're going to inhale, extend the legs out, extend the arms up and back, biceps by the ears. Exhale as you pull everything back in. Inhale as everything goes out. Exhale as everything comes in for four. Inhale out. Exhale in. Good for three. For two. 
And then one more. Good. Drop head, neck, and shoulders down to the mat. Take a second. Bring your gaze over one shoulder and then the other, like you're doing a really dramatic nod. No. <laughs> you're like, no, but in slow motion, kind of like that. Perfect. Okay. From there, same kind of idea, but we do single leg stretch. So you're going to take hands towards the tops of the shins, pull those legs in nice and tight. We're going to extend one leg out as we reach the arms back and then pull everything back in. Inhale, arms reach back, opposite leg goes out and then we bring it in. Let's do four and four for three. And three for two and two. One more. And then one more. Good. Everything comes in. Drop it back down towards your mat. Weights can go off to the side. Bring your feet so they go down to the mat wider than your hips. Inhale as you drop both knees over towards the right, letting the left hip lift, keeping the left shoulder anchored down. Good. Exhale, knees up through center. And then inhale, let's drop both knees over towards the left, letting the right hip lift. Right shoulder stays anchored down. Good. Everything up through center. Bring your arms so they go out to T, pressing your palms down into the mat. You can go T or even into kind of like a, a mid or low V. You're going to tilt the hips back towards you, lifting one leg to tabletop and then the other, gluing the legs together. We'll inhale to tilt the knees over towards the right, letting the left hip lift, but continuing to press down into that left shoulder. Exhale as you bring yourself all the way back through center. Inhale as we take the knees over towards the left. And then exhale as you bring it all the way back through center. Good. Inhale, knees over towards the right. Exhale, use that left side oblique, bring it back through center. And then inhale, knees to the left. Exhale, right side oblique takes us back through center for one more each side. And then last one. Good. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Take a little rock from side to side. Just give yourself a good hug. And then when you're ready, we're going to roll it onto our right side. So the right hip is down. We'll prop up onto our left. No, sorry. Onto our right forearm. Like I can't right and left lifting up and away from the mat, actively pressing down into that hip, grabbing onto our weight. If you'd like to continue using it, reaching the weight. So it goes down by the knee. You're going to make a nice big circle reaching out opening up and around for four total. This will be three. For two. One more. And then we'll reverse that circle lifting up circling forward. Gravity helps us a little bit with that reaching out and around for three. For two. One more. Good lowering your left arm down. You take a second right here. Your weight can just go right in front of you. We're going to press the heels together, lift the bottom half of your right leg up, fan the toes out. We'll exhale to open up, take a clamshell and then bring it back in. Actually, by the logic I used earlier, it's an inhale open and then exhale close. Good. Inhale open and then exhale close. Now you can look down to that right forearm, especially if you're feeling some tension right up here in the um, 
left shoulder and through the left side of the neck. Let's do three more. Lift for two. And then one more. Good. We bring things down. Take a second right here. We're going to press up onto our right hand. Knees stay bent, hips stacked, knees stacked, feet stacked. So now we're pretty warm through that left hip. Grab back onto your weight. Now we're going we're gonna to pop up into a modified side plank and take that same big circle through the arm. Good. And then we lower back down as the arm comes back in. Okay. We go for three big circle lift up and around and then take it down for two. One more. Good. And then of course we're going to reverse it. Lift up. Whoo. For two. One more. Good, and then bring it down. Take a second right there. We can press up off of the right hand, bring the feet in a little bit closer, and then reach up and over through that right side. We just got a lot of work into that right side oblique, so think about lengthening it out, opening it up. Good, inhale. And then exhale, we'll let things go. Good. From right here, we're going to pop up into a high kneeling position. So both of the knees are down. Once you get right here, let's grab onto both of our weights wherever they ended up. We'll go hands behind the head, elbows out wide. Inhale as you side bend over towards the left. Exhale as you use, oh my gosh, <laughs> towards the right. Exhale, use the left side oblique to come up. Inhale as you side bend over towards the left. Exhale, use the right side oblique. I always forget that I mirror you most of the time. You can keep holding onto your weights. We're doing three more each side. Over to the right and then back up and over to the left and then back up for two. And two. One more. For me, my waist just got to be a little bit much on my shoulders, so I like to start out with them and then be able to put them off to the side. Good, everything up through center. Take your weights, just put them in front of you. We're going to reach the arms out to T and then reach that left leg out. You can press the inside of the foot down into the mat or turn it out. We'll shift over, taking the right hand down, reaching that left arm up and you'll shift over just a little bit so your knee can be underneath your hip, your wrist can be underneath your shoulder. Grab onto a weight with your left hand, reach that left hand down, exhale as you pull your hand towards your armpit and then unfold fold, pushing the knuckles towards the ceiling. Inhale, bend into the elbow and then push that arm right back down. We'll pull up. Good. And then bring it down. One more pull up. Good. And then bring it down. Good. Now on this one, for four more reps, we do that same movement through the arm as we lift up through that left leg. Good, and then lower back down for three. For two. One more. Good, everything comes down. Put that weight off to the side and then pull your left leg in to meet your right. We'll just sit back hips to heels and then come off of that right wrist. Give it a little shake, a little roll. Same things on the other side when you're ready. We'll set up onto our left hip coming onto our left forearm. Hips are stacked, knees are stacked, feet are stacked. We have the elbow um, a little bit forward of the shoulder. We're trying to actively press up and away from that mat, pushing your right hip down. Grabbing onto a weight with your right hand, we make those big circles, reaching out, circling up around and back for three. Reach up, around and back for two.
One more. And then we reverse it, lifting up, Good. going forward and around for three. For two. One more. Good, your weight can come down. You can move your hand a little bit, squaring the shoulders off more towards me. Heels pressing together. We're lifting up through that bottom leg. Try to fan the toes out. We'll inhale to open up through that right leg and then exhale, you bring it back to close. Inhale, we'll open. Exhale, we'll close. Try to keep your heels pressing together. Good, and then close. We'll open and then close for four more open and close Oof. for three for two one more Good. Lower the legs down, press up onto your left hand, grabbing back onto your weight with the right hand. We keep the legs and the hips pressing together. We're going to press up into that side plank as we circle up and around and then carefully with control, lower down. We lift and circle three for two. One more. Good, and then we reverse it, reaching up around and back for three. For two. One more. Good, left hip can come down. We can press up off of that left hand, reaching up and over, big side body stretch. Good, perfect. And then from right here, we pop up into high kneeling, knees about hips distance apart. Again, you can grab onto your weight, slight tuck of the tailbone so the hips are pressing forward, hips and rib cage in line. Hands behind the head. This time, instead of doing our side bends, we're going to twist. We inhale, rotate over towards the right, keeping the hips pressing forward. Exhale back through center. Inhale as we twist left. Exhale back through center. For three more, you can ditch your weights. Inhale, twist. Exhale, untwist. Inhale, twist, Whoo. exhale, untwist for two. One more. One more. Good, arms can come down. We're going to extend that right leg out, reach the arms out to T and then shift it over into that left hand. And you may have to slide over a little bit just so you can get the shoulder on top of the wrist and the hip on top of the knee. We'll grab onto our weight, taking it into our right hand. And then when you're ready, you're going to follow your weight with your eyes, pulling the weight towards the shoulder, bending the elbow and then unfolding, pressing knuckles towards the ceiling. We bend the elbow and then push that hand back down towards the mat. We'll bring it up and then pull it down. For two. One more. Good, now with that last one for four, we're going to add on the same movement through the arm. We add a lift of the right leg. We pull the hand towards the armpit as we start to lift up, extending that arm towards the ceiling. We lower the leg down with control as we take the weight back down to the mat for three. Four. 
for two. One more. Good, everything comes down. You're going to pull the right leg in to meet the left. Bring your hips back towards your heels coming off of the left wrist and then just give it a little bit of a shake. Like you're flicking water off of your, your hand or your fingertips. Good, take your weights. You can put them off to the side. We'll make our way all the way down to the mat, laying down face first. Feet are reaching back. Your chest is down. Your head is going to be down. Hands a little bit forward of the shoulders. Forearms a little bit wider than the rest of the body. Tops of the feet are pressing down. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. On your inhale, you start to lift your chest. You keep the forearms and hands pressing down. You lift your head. You look forward, but a little bit down. Good, and then exhale, bring it all the way back down, melting down through the front of the body, coming back to the mat. We inhale, lift the chest, lift the head. And then inhale, melt back down for two. One more. Good, with your last one, let's move the left hand so that your forearm comes in front of you. Left hand is going to be right underneath the forehead. You can drop your forehead to the back of your hand. We're reaching up and out through the right arm, fingertips reaching long, we're relaxing the shoulders, pressing into the front of the hips, pressing into the tops of the feet. Exhale, can you lift up through that right arm, pushing the thumb towards the ceiling, and then inhale, lower back down. Lift up, and then lower, just for one more lift, and lower. Same thing, other side, right elbow bends, right hand is going to the forehead, left arm reaching out, relax the shoulders. Exhale, lift up, pushing the thumb towards the ceiling. Inhale, lower, just for two, lift. One more. Good. Bring things in. Just take a second right here. Let's stack the hands on top of each other. It doesn't matter which one's on top, so pick your favorite hand. Forearms are in front of you. You're going to lift the chest a little bit, lift the head, relax the shoulders. Pressing into the front of the hips, you lift your legs up, pointing the toes back, and then inhale, you lower your legs back down. You'll lift up and then lower down just for three lift and lower for two one more lift hold it there start to kick the legs kicking from the hip all the way to the tip of the toe kick 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 for six five four three two and one, relax the legs, take the hands under the shoulders, press yourself all the way up to modified plank. And then all the way back, hips to heels, you'll find a child's pose, rounding forward through the spine, thinking about curving the spine, pressing the crown of the head and the forehead down to the mat. Good, inhale here. Exhale, let it go. One more, inhale. And then exhale, let it go. Good. With that last exhale, we're going to come back onto our side, laying all the way down onto the left, reaching that left arm out. And then you can extend the legs long towards that bottom, or I guess top right corner of your mat. Flexing into the feet, we're trying to push the um, right hip down towards the feet, seeing how that lifts us up through the left side. We're gonna do four circles right here in each direction with our right leg. So I'm taking my right hand, pressing it in front of me, lifting my right leg up so it goes in line with my hip. We take this nice and slow, inhale, drawing a line up, circling forward, and then kicking back for three, 
Really mobilizing those hips and then pressing back. Good for two. One more lift. Good, and then we'll reverse that circle, kicking forward, circling up around and back. For three, relaxing the face, unclenching the jaw, releasing your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Good, two. One more. Perfect. Right leg comes down on top of left. Bring the heels together. Turn the toes apart. You're going to point that toe. Big exhale as you kick the leg up nice and high. Flex your foot. Squeeze the heels down to meet. And I lied. It's going to be an inhale. Press that leg up. Flex your foot. Squeeze the heel down. Point the toe. Inhale. Exhale. Flex the foot. Squeeze it down for four. For three. For two. One more. Perfect, take a second. You're gonna roll over onto your back. We'll take a little figure four stretch right there before we move over into the other side. Left foot down, right ankle over the top of the knee. You can gently press that right knee away from you so your knees are in line with each other and your hips are in line with each other. Inhale, breathe into that. Maybe taking your left foot off of the mat, hugging the knees in towards the chest, seeing if that feels a little bit nicer. Good, inhale. Exhale, let it go. Left foot comes down to the mat, right ankle uncrosses. Walk your feet a little bit further away from you, reaching arms above the shoulders. You'll press your hands down towards the tops of your legs, curling up chin to chest, bring it all the way up to seated, and then swing the legs over to the other side. We're extending the legs all the way out, laying down onto our right side. I have to bend my elbow so I can keep listening to my music, flexing the feet, pushing that left hip down towards your feet so that you can lift up through your side and we take our circles right here you're lifting your leg up pointing the toe it's an inhale you draw a line up you'll circle forward and then press back lift up for three forward and back for two lift bring it forward and press it back one more lift Good, kick forward, press back, four in the reverse direction, kicking forward, circling up around and back for three. For two. And then one more. Good. Lowering the left leg down so it comes in line with the right, bringing the heels together and pointing the toe. We take an inhale, we kick that leg up, flex the foot, squeeze the heels down to meet. Good. Point the toe, big kick up, flex the foot, bring it down to meet, point and kick. Good. Flex and squeeze, point and kick. Flex and squeeze for four more, point and kick. Good. Flex and squeeze for three for two, one more, good, bring the knees in, roll it over onto your back, we'll take that same figure four stretch, right foot down, left ankles going over the top of the right knee, you can press the knee away from you just a little bit, taking a breath, good, inhale, Exhale, let it go. Good. Maybe taking the right foot off of the mat, you can hug the knees in towards the chest. Sometimes that's kind of nice. Oftentimes people prefer to take a figure four from right here. So do what you need to do. Well, inhale. Exhale, let it go. Good. Right foot goes down. We'll uncross that left ankle. Walk the feet out away from you a little bit. Arms can come to the tops of your legs. Tuck chin to chest. Roll yourself all the way up. 
Good, and then from right there, let's slide the legs so they go out in front of us. You can open your feet up so that they're about hips distance apart. Flexing your feet will grab onto our weights. Reach your weights so they go out in front of you, flipping your palms up, maintaining a flat back. You'll, uh, let's see, exhale as we bend the elbows, pulling those weights towards you. Inhale as you release the arms back out. We exhale, pull and putting tension into the bicep. Inhale as we reach out, exhale in, inhale out, good, bring it in, press it out, for three, and reach, for two, one more. Good, reach your arms so they go out to T, palms flipping forward, inhale as we twist over towards the right, you're gonna flip that right palm back, hinge at the hips, reaching the left hand to the outside of the right foot, inhale, exhale, come back up, flipping that palm forward and then twisting the other way, left palm flips back, we hinge and reach. Good, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like I cannot do that with weights right now. for two more each side, over to the right. And then over to the left. One more over to the right. And then over to the left. Oh. Good, everything comes up. You're gonna take a second, let the hands come down, take a little shake through the shoulders. I don't know about you, but my shoulders are feeling, they are feeling warm, y'all. They're feeling real warm. Okay, we're doing one more thing and then we'll take a couple of stretches and you can be all done with me for the day. Bend into your knees, plant your feet flat on the mat. You can use your weights if you want to. I'm gonna use my weights, but we'll see if I stick with them. Inhale, sit up tall, exhale as you roll back about halfway, curving into your spine. Good, inhale and then exhale, take it all the way back up for three more like that. Inhale, sit up tall, exhale, curve back. Good, for two, inhale, sit up tall, exhale, curving the spine back. For one more, inhale, exhale, take it back. Good, now if you wanna keep holding on to your weights, you keep holding on to your weights. My shoulders cannot do it anymore. We roll it back about halfway, opening the arms up so that they're tracking kind of in line with, eh, with your feet. Maybe we'll keep that left arm where it is. Exhale, you're going to bend into the right elbow, pull that right elbow back. Reach that right arm forward, same thing on the left. We pull back through that left side and then press it forward. Good, just for two, pull back. And then press forward. Good, and two. One more. Good. Good, arms stay reaching out, roll yourself all the way down to the mat, nice and slow. Shoulders and head come down. You can put your weights off to the side if they're not there already. Bending the knees, taking the feet a little wider than the hips. That same thing we did before, you'll drop both knees over towards the right, letting the left hip lift, keeping the left shoulder anchored to the mat. Exhale, knees come up through center, and an inhale, we'll drop them both over towards the left, letting the right hip lift, but keeping the right shoulder anchored. Good, everything comes up through center. Good, and then take your right leg, extend that right leg up. You can hold onto your leg behind the hamstring. We'll point and flex the foot for four, point. And flex for three, point and flex for two one more and then circle the ankle four 
three, two, and one. Reverse four, three, two, and one. Good, good. You can go kind of halfway between a point and a flex. We'll bend into the knee, pulling heel towards the hip, and then pointing the toe, kick the leg back up to straight. Bend the knee, heel towards the hip. Good, kick the leg back up to straight for two, bend. And kick. One more, bend. And kick. Perfect, lower your leg all the way down. Ooh, and just take a second, reach the arms all the way back. Think about reaching out through that right leg, pointing the toes, finding length through the front of the body all the way up that right side, and even across the body from the right toe to that left hand. Good. Right foot is going to come back to the mat. You'll bend the right knee and then extend the left leg up. You can hang onto the left leg behind the hamstring for four, we point and flex for three, point and flex for two. One more. Good, and then we circle the ankle four, three, two, one, reverse for four, three, two, and one. Take it halfway between point and flex, bend the knee, heel towards the hip, and then kick the leg back up. Good, bend the knee, heel towards the hip, kick the leg back up for two, bend, and then kick, one more, bend, and then kick, good, lower the left leg all the way down, pointing the toe, reaching the arms up and back overhead, finding length through the front of the body, from the toe all the way up to the left middle finger, and from the toe across to that right middle finger, Good. Bend the left knee, foot on the mat. We'll hug the knees in towards the chest and then just curl up through head, neck, and shoulders. Really pull the knees towards the nose. Good. When you're ready, you're going to rock and roll it up to seated. You can come into a cross-legged position or any other seated position you feel like is going to serve you today. Hands can come to the knees. We'll inhale, tilt the right ear towards the right shoulder trying to sink that left shoulder down so we can really get a nice release through the left side of the neck. Good, head comes back up through center and we'll inhale, tilt the left ear towards the left shoulder. Good, exhale up through center. This time let's tilt right ear towards the right shoulder. Good, and then bring your head so that you're tucking chin to chest looking down. And then we'll bring left ear to left shoulder. So a little semi-circle. Good. Look down, tucking chin to chest, bringing right ear towards right shoulder. And then again, we go down, left ear to left shoulder. For one more, we look down, right ear to right shoulder. And then we bring it down again, left ear to left shoulder. Good, your head can come all the way up through center and on that, I get words, and that's where I'm going to leave you today. If you're watching this first class here on YouTube and you wanna continue with the rest of the challenge, I will leave the link to be able to access the rest of the challenge classes down in the description. Um, if you're here with me for the rest of the challenge, yay, I'm so excited. I think you're really going to like it. I know you guys love Pilates strength classes. If you have any questions about the challenge or questions about this class, please leave them down in the comments, whether you're watching this on YouTube or um, on demand in the virtual studio, please leave me a comment. Let me know that you completed day one. You guys are awesome. You can do anything you put your mind to and I will see you back here for our next class. <laughs>